Hello, everyone. Welcome to another episode of Peg City Chat with Nat. I am your host, Natalie Bell, and today we're going to talk about our beautiful eyes. Those of you who are listening right now <laughs> are using your ears, but I will have video later so you could see with your eyes. But let's talk about the fact that summer is here, or almost here, and the days are getting longer. We're all on our phones. We are all doing digital things, and it's starting to take a toll on our beautiful eyes. All of this exposure to the sun and the screens, it's starting to affect us. So what can we do? We can't use sunscreen on our eyes, and if we can, oh my gosh, tell me who has invented that. But uh, (laughs) I'm here today with someone who has a lot to tell us about what we can do to protect our eyes and the fashionable ways we can do it as well. Everyone say hello to... Sarah Bernard, who is a lifestyle and fashion television contributor, and she's here with us right now from New York. Hi, Sarah. Hey, Natalie. Thanks for having me. Thanks for being available. Let's talk eyes, shall we? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. You know, there are so many things that you're, that can happen to your eyes that I don't think people realize. First of all, as you said, your eyes actually can get sunburned. I love the idea of suntan lotion for your eyes. I think that would be an amazing invention. But well, until we can then... Get some sort of Yeah, until then we have some other options for you. But before we get to that, even indoors, you know, there are certain things we have to contend with, like you said, because of all the technology in our lives, right? We're going from screen to screen, and about eight and a half hours a day on average are spent in front of some sort of um, piece of technology, which means that potentially harmful blue light is penetrating our eyes. That can cause retina damage, macular degeneration. It can even mess with our sleep patterns because it suppresses the melatonin levels. It's so funny that they call this blue light. I've, I've, I want to I wanna know more about the blue light. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe you don't, because <laughs> I don't yeah, think it's that good for it. you. Yeah. So, well, okay, so you talked about the, the long-term kind of vision, so macular de- degeneration, cataracts, things like that. Mm. Um, but what are some of the like short-term vision problems we can have when we have too much exposure to sunlight? Well, I mean, I think just something as much as strain, you know, like things that just give you headaches, just, you know, really are taxing to your eyes because you're always trying to navigate these different contrasts and focus. And basically because of that, we're saying and we're noticing that the trend right now is to really have more of like a sunglasses and eyeglasses wardrobe, if you will, as opposed to just investing in one designer pair of sunglasses that you're trying not to lose all summer long. It's to really express all aspects of your personality with affordable and accessible options that make sure that they work for all different scenarios so that you have the most protection with you at all times. And I've got some great examples here to show you. These right here are Foster Grants, and I really love these oversized, round, bohemian, hippie kind of shape. I also love aviators of all kinds, especially the ones with mirrored lenses. Everything on this table, with a few exceptions, is $30 and under, so again, really hitting on that accessible, affordable price point. Right here, this is more for like the fashionista, music festival kind of girl. These are item eights. They're in the more elevated range of $60 and under, and they really hit on what's trendy right now, which is the colored shades, the dusty pink ones especially, and also the colored mirrored lenses. So I've got my eyes on those, I have to tell you. But uh, (laughs) even if that's not your personality, maybe you're the kind of person that wears optical lenses and you just want to put some protection on top of that. Solar shields are a great option. They're sleek, they're durable, they're scratch resistant. So that's the kind of thing like you could throw one in the glove compartment of your car. You could put it in your basket on your bike just so that you make sure you have this protection on hand at all times. So I I just need to rewind for a second here because I'm going to make sure my husband listens to this. I need a wardrobe for my eyes. You do. (laughs) (laughs) He does too. Tell him he does too. Okay, well, all right, all right. See, that that makes it even easier. Even easier. Yeah. (laughs) Um, Because I am the person who just has that one pair of sunglasses that I travel with everywhere, whether it's the beach, whether I'm just, you know, going from car to the mall, whatever it is. And I never really thought about the fact that I probably should have uh, different options. And when you talk about the uh, solar shield, what about, you know, those large, or they used to be large, and it was more of a older uh, generation kind of sunshade, really big readers, 
that's not not a big age thing anymore, is it? Oh, talking about readers. No, I mean, I think the fact is readers used to have kind of a bad rap, like there was like one style and then people would associate with the uh, older segment of the population. Younger people were like, oh, I don't really need that. But that's totally not the case anymore. Readers have become a lot more stylish. Again, it's all about choice and options and having things that fit with different aspects of your personality. I've got some options here. There are multi-focus varieties and magnification options, so you have a lot to choose from. And again, picking up on what we were talking about before, about the potentially harmful blue light, over here we have Foster Grant I Ends, and this is really something that we should all pay attention to. They're particularly to be worn when you're in those kind of digital facing situations. So let's say you're reading a book on a screen. If you have the Foster Grant eyes ends on, they will combat that potentially harmful blue light. So you don't have as much of that eye strain. The contrast is not so intense when you're looking at the screen. And that's really something that applies to all ages, you know, from teenagers on up, maybe even younger, the way things are going <laughs> these days. Well, yeah. But I'm, um, I'm thinking of my son. He's just but he just turned five, and we make sure he has sunglasses, you know. But I, yeah. I, I try to walk away from the, you know, licensed uh, just for fun sunglasses, and really make sure that the UV UV ray protection is 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 on them. That's really important too, and I should mention that, that all of these are 100% UVA, UVB protected and polarized because you really, you don't even realize how much you need to protect your eyes, and once you probably feel that strain, you know, you're already, you know, not in the optimal situation. Well, I think we take it for granted because there are eyes. We're just, you know, walking around and everything we can see. But there, there's that, that time where, you know, perhaps you do feel the strain and you, your, your vision starts to get blurry and you start to think, oh, my gosh, what if I were to lose my vision? And it's something as simple as making sure you're wearing protective eyewear. Really? Absolutely. It is. So what about this 20-20-20 rule? Tell oh, me about that. Yeah, this is a great tip. So you know how sometimes you're staring at a screen and all of a sudden like three hours have gone by and you haven't even looked up? It never <laughs> that happens to me all the time. Well, this is to remind you that every 20 minutes you should take 20 seconds to focus on something that's 20 feet away from you. That'll allow your eyes to refocus and reset and feel a little bit less strained. So that's again something that you can keep in mind just so that we have that goal of eye health for all of us. I like that. Can we repeat that one more time? That's really important. 20, 20, 20. Well, yeah. so what you want to do is every 20 minutes, look, every at, 20 some, minutes. look at something 20 feet away yeah. for 20 seconds. Okay. I like that. I'm going to use that with my kids, too. Yes, definitely good for kids. Hmm. This is awesome. I'm so excited. This is you know, it's, like I said, it's something we all take for granted. We don't really think about this thing. We're just out. We're just so happy that the sun is out. Yeah. We're happy it's not cloudy. We're happy it's not raining. But you know what? Even with, with uh, cloud, some slight cloud cover, you should still be wearing sunglasses from, from what I understand as well. Yeah, you really should. And even indoors, you should protect your eyes, as we're learning now. And that's, you know, because of our lifestyle. So we might as well realize what we're doing and then protect ourselves. Absolutely. So this has been amazing, and I know you have a gazillion other interviews to get to, but where can my listeners and the viewers go for additional information about all of this? Oh, yeah, of course. So fostergrant.com has all sorts of great info, and also you can go there and start assembling your wardrobe that we were talking about. <laughs> you will definitely <laughs> find something good. There's something for everyone, for sure. I'm taking that to the bank, let me tell you. <laughs> Good. I'm using that one forever and ever and ever. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thanks, Well, Natalie. thank you so much to Sarah for being with us today and uh, helping us learn a little more about how we can be mindful of our eye health this summer and uh, not just indoors but outdoors as well. Really appreciate your time. Hope you have a fabulous weekend. You too. Thanks. Thanks. Bye. Bye.